Welcome to Eastern News Beat. This is Trisha Zima with you once again. We're at the AMOC Concourse 2022, and we're here with the MG Car Club. And I have with me Jan Rattree, who has been captain of the Ladies Register in the past. Welcome. Thank you, Trisha. Now, how long have you been involved with the MG Car Club? 11 years now. Started one day going to an event up at our Rob Roy Hill Club, and I sat and watched my partner and it took two minutes for him to do four runs in eight hours. <laughs> that was it. So from that point on I thought no I need to be a volunteer and involved with the club and I have been ever since. Oh that is just wonderful. Yes. yes. And do you have your own MG as well? No, 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 no. I, I assist with his MG. You know, come and find this or get this or yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I enjoy being a, a passenger in his MG. So you're a tour girl? Yep. Hand the tour it. when he needs yes, it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> or when he gets stuck upside down underneath the dashboard, come and get me out. <laughs> <laughs> so how many concours have you been involved with? This is 10. This is the 10th one. Oh, yeah. no. Every year that they've had it, I've been involved with the organising of it. Yeah. yeah. And what's involved in that organisation? There's a, a committee that does the concourse and they work out where everyone's going to park, um, who's going to be the volunteers, we load everything up from the club rooms and this year for a change we decided we would give show bags to each of our MG members that bought a car so we had packing of show bags but it's a pretty intense job getting organised for the parking to make sure all cars are displayed in the correct in their correct register and it's also a pretty intense area to work out who's judging, how you judge cars, the different types, there's two different types open which means the car's really like it was originally yes. or there's the competition one which means you can have done modifications and changes to it. So there's two different ways of judging it so you've got to have a couple of people, each person, two people go around judging. So that's a big crew too when you've got about 30 different areas of cars. Yeah. yeah. Because you can you can have an MGA but then you've got an MGA that's a twin cam or an MGA coupe or an MG just straight MGA or yeah, there's just not one MGA class. There's three or four of them. And yeah. MGs have been around since nineteen twenty three. yes, we're coming up for the hundredth year next year will be our one hundred year celebration since the first MG rolled off the line. And what's your MG? They've got an MGB, a red one, because it goes faster. And Everyone knows that. Yeah, I know they all know that, but you've just got to be reminded. Yeah, yeah. so it's an MGB Mark II, 1969, and worth one or two modifications, like power steering, because we've got too old to wrench the wheel round on corners on motor carners. Um, but yeah, it goes really well. And it's taking us up to the national meeting at Lake Macquarie in April. That is fabulous. Now you're involved with the ladies register as well. Yes. How I'll, come? Once again, just the car club. I like being involved in things. Um, I was the captain of the ladies register for two years. Um, and I only stepped back because I got on board and I'd become the club registrar for doing all the membership. So I stepped back, but now I've retired. I'm back on with the ladies register and it's really good fun. It's a good way for the women to get to know each other because usually if you're going anywhere, you're going with a partner and you don't get the chance to meet and talk with the other women and do things. It's, it's good fun. So the ladies register is really about helping out as well as socialising. Yeah, and making ourselves there in the club. We have got quite a few ladies who compete um, in their own right. Mm. And there is a ladies section in the competition committee for the ladies that do compete. Um, but it's also just a chance, it's not like a men's shed, but it's like a ladies register, like we had craft days, we've put together quilts that we've donated to the Royal Children's Hospital, we've had donations that went to the RSPCA of foodstuffs plus lots and lots of linen and things to help them. Yeah, we've volunteered financially to assist with a few charities over the years and that's running a fundraiser at the club rooms, a raffle at an event. So yeah, we, we, there's a certain pride to being on the ladies register and what we quietly achieve. Absolutely, now I've heard about the Valentine's run where the ladies go out and about as well as Cup Day. Yes. 
And there's a beach party coming up yes. this year, as well as I think somebody said something about Josie's biscuit making oh, for Easter. Josie's cookies are just amazing. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to being able to make them. So it's a shortbread cookie and she ices decorations on the top and they're just wonderful. So that's just before Easter, so that we can make them all for Easter. So yeah, that'll be a good one. And we've also got a visit to Robert Gordon Pottery in Berwick and we're going to learn how to potter. So it's very inclusive and social oh, for the ladies to get together. Oh, very, and with their partners and husbands, and we welcome any registers, it's all good. And Josie is currently the new captain yes. for the register, isn't she? she's our ladies register captain. She felt she was on board and then she dropped out for reasons she had to sell her car, but she's now got an MG again and she feels part of the team and was more than happy to go on as a ladies register captain again. Oh, and I saw the car before, it is absolutely a delight. And she was oh. taking photos of the kids in the car, it's lovely never had a display ever like we've got today. She's really put together a wonderful display for the ladies register. She's got one of the competition cars and she's got her own car, TD there but she's yeah she's just done a wonderful job promoting the ladies register within the club because we were a forgotten club for a couple of years. So, well yeah. it's going to be lovely to interview a few of the other people from the ladies club as well as some of your lady racers. Yes absolutely. There Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Tricia. We'll be back after the break.